All right, guys, check this out. I got a weekend warrior with a fuel pump on the on the back, and it stopped pumping on me when I was in the desert. So I looked it up, and uh, some couple guys were saying that the gears are expanding and the gaskets get messed up inside there. And what happens is it starts grinding against against the outer uh, shell of the pump. So what they said to do was just loosen it up. It has four bolts, so loosen the pump up, and what happens is it starts moving again. So I guess they get locked up against the end of the pump, and you loosen the you loosen the piece out a little, and it didn't really leak that much gas. I tightened it up so that the gasket's still touching, and then it worked, and it worked fine. I was there for like eight days, so it worked fine. So. What they said was take the gears out and grind them down, file them or whatever, so that when you shut it again and you bolt it down, it won't grind against the outer cover shell of the pump. So, so right now I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'll show you what I did to get them out. It's not that difficult. I looked it up and there wasn't that many videos. So um, I guess this is my first video run on YouTube, even though I fix a lot of crap all the time. I think maybe I'll start putting videos up, but so what I'm doing right now is I got my little ass vice in my crowded garage and I just set it in the vice like that and I didn't want to use a file. These are plastic by the way. They have kits. I mean you can just buy the kit. It comes with a new gasket and, and some new gears. I might even order the kit just to compare um, the gears and see what they are but all that happens is you put the gear on there you stick the little metal sleeve in here and that locks it in there <clears throat> and then this gear turns the other gear and that's how you get the gas to pump um, for your fuel pump in your in your trailers or motorhomes or whatever you have and I don't know the number on the fuel pump so I'll grab the number and I'll put it below in the comments whatever fuel uh, pump number this one is the serial number so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking, I found a wire wheel in my trusty handy dandy uh, uh, toolbox and I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to try and smoothly <laughs> take some of this plastic down um, as, as even as I can with this. I mean it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just, it's just so that it doesn't reach the end of the the pump on that case and I don't want it grinding on there and I'll show you the case when I go back to my trailer but the case has uh, you know etches in it from the wheel turning so um, I, I kind of don't want that to happen anymore I'm assuming eventually it's going to wear the whole thing down to something will, will break but what was going on was it was just locking up the wheel and then it was blowing the breaker so I kept changing the breaker at first um and i mean the fuse it was blowing the fuse sorry so i kept changing the fuse and then it would do it again so until i looked it up and figured out what i needed to do so i was just taking this and i was just um wire wheeling it as much as i can to get done so i just evenly went around as much as i could um, and then I just started to compare them. So I'll show you the comparison. So I just put them down like on a flat surface and that way you can see like the difference in how far, and I mean, you're talking, I mean, it's going to be a millimeter or something, um, for it to not touch anymore. And that's all you need. It doesn't even matter how long it is. So let me show you the difference in the wheels here. So here's the two wheels. This one's been grinded down. You can see it, how it has all the marks from the wire wheel. And this is the other side that's clean still that I haven't done yet. And then let me put it by a white box here so if you can see it better. So I'm just trying to take it down enough to make a difference. You can see some of them are actually kind of even still. But you look at that. There's like a tiny bit of difference. See it? I mean, you don't need a whole lot. That's all you're going to need for it not to hit that door anymore that cover shoot it's actually kind of even right there so you can take this and measure it as long as it's on a flat surface make sure that look at that it's still even on that side so i'm gonna have to take that down a little bit but right here it's good look that would 
probably fit in there perfectly right there. So I'm gonna take down the other side and then I'll show you how to put it back together. All right, so hopefully you guys can see clear. I put the lights on, but actually this light's not even working right here. Let me get this light on right here and I can probably see it better. Hold on. All right, hopefully you can see that better. Um, so I, I just took the wheel. Um, I have a Dremel tube, but I thought maybe if I just put this wheel on here and put it on high, um, it's a Craftsman uh, drill driver, regular 19.2 volt with the battery. So it gets enough speed to spit out some of this plastic um, and smooth it down. But the thing I wanted to tell you guys was to make sure that when you're done, you open up these holes again. You use some dent I use dentist tools for a lot of stuff that I that's smaller than a screwdriver, and you just need to get it in the groove and maybe shape it a little bit. So I took a little tiny, tiny screwdriver and then I shaped all these holes and then in here get all the plastic out of there because I think gas goes through here because it does fill this area where these gears are with gas. Um, Cause when I took it off, a, a little bit of gas came out of there. Um, so and I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit, but just make sure that all these holes are open again. Cause I'm, I'm assuming gas goes through those holes. All right, so all I'm doing, taking this thing. Try not to leave it in one place at one time. I'm not sure it's going fast enough to burn this thing, but I mean, I'm just trying to get some weight on it um, and not push it through my little handy dandy, <laughs> my holder here. <laughs> it's just bolted, bolted on the table. Hey, I'm a weekend warrior. I just do it however I can. I'm not an engineer, I'm not a professional. I don't do this stuff for a living. So this is just me trying to fix something and do it as easy and as cheap as I can. So here we go. Make sure we wear safety glasses. I'm sure this stuff's being kicked up all over the place. I can kind of see it over here on this battery I have sitting here, and it's kind of on this sh on this shelf right here. So make sure you're uh, got some gloves on, wearing safety goggles. Safety first. All right. So I finished grinding it down. I, I measured it up on the table to make sure that it's pretty even, as even as it can be. Um, I'm, I'm positive it doesn't need to be within a millimeter of spec because it's just spinning around in that little area where the gas pumps through there so it doesn't exactly need to be and fit in there perfectly um, and all you're doing is putting a door on there and bolting it down so if it was anything where it needed to be within spec it would be in some kind of chamber but it's kind of like in an open area at the end of the pump so it looks like this when it's done you can kind of see the little grooves in it and how it's uneven everywhere so i'm going to take a little file a fine file and then just try to smooth it all out but you can see right here in these little spaces like this one how it got disformed and the hole is not completely all the way through so and there's probably stuff in here too so i'm going to blow all that out of there but you want to kind of like shape it back to where it was and get these little squares back to it being a little port because the fuel is going to have to go through there So I use dentist tools for everything that I do. So that's smaller than a screwdriver, remember? So I just try to like get the crud out of there, put it in there and then just shape it, kind of push on both sides so that you can shape it back to where it was before. <laughs> like this one right here. It's got like some stuff in there. So I'm gonna like take it out of there. You can see now it's kind of hanging to the side. So I just want to get that out of there. All right, I hit it with the file a little bit. You can kind of see it's a lot smoother now. You can definitely see the lines in it from the wire wheel, but it's a lot smoother now. And I'm not going to worry about any plastic coming off of there while it's in there pumping gas. That's not what you want, right? You don't want dirt and stuff in your gas. So. This one the same thing. This was the first one I did. That was my test run. You can see there's way more gouges in it. But once I hit it with the file, some of those gouges came out. And there's look at there's big ones right there. I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna clean them up. 
um, we'll take you to the pump and I'll show you how I took it apart and um, we'll put it back together and then we'll test it. So I'm gonna show quick my trailer. It's a Weekend Warrior, fifth wheel, 3305. And the fuel pump on mine is in the back. So it's down here. Oh shoot, watch out for the holes. Uh, so I put my little cart down here and it's right under here. There it is. So there's the four bolts on the outside and the two little pump needles that come out. And one of them holds the piece. One of them holds this little character. It's the shim that holds the whole thing together. Not the shim, but just the, the lock. And let me put this down. So those are the two pieces. But I wanted to show you, and here's a little screen that comes out of there. There's the little lock. So this is the outside. Okay, it just goes on four bolts. And you can see both of the gears were rubbing for who knows how long. I, I just bought this trailer, I only had it for a year, so um, that's that was the problem. They were here and they were rubbing, so we're gonna try to solve that right now. Hopefully we just did. <laughs> we'll find out, let's put it back together. All right, this is about as straight as I can get it. Uh, without twisting everything all around. But I watched a video on YouTube about cleaning one of the pumps. So they just said to take some of this residue off here. This is where the gasket goes, and we really should be changing the gasket, but I don't have one, and I don't really care to, so I'm not going to do it. I'm probably going to order, if this doesn't work, I'll order the kit. But because I had gas leaking through here when I loosened it, like what I mentioned before, how I loosened it up just to get it to work, then now you have gas coming through the gasket here. You can see on the bottom, I'll show it to you real quick. On the bottom, there's a little bit of residue there um, from just the gas, probably eating the gasket because it's rubber so we'll leave it like that for right now and then we're gonna put in this gasket here and remember this little pin goes in here and then it sits in there so that sits in there like that and this other one all cleaned up ready to roll it goes Right in here, and you're just supposed to make sure that they're turning pro properly. So yeah, they're both working, and make sure you turn the power off before you do any of this crap because you don't want the power on. But all right, so then the screen goes back in in here, and you can see that on this piece. It sits right in this little area there, pretty easy. Clean all the residue off of this thing. Set it back on here nice and easy so that that screen fits in there perfectly. And then these are half inch bolts. I'm just gonna set these things in there just to hold it up there for now. All right, so here we go. We're gonna uh, turn on the fuel pump and we'll pump some gas into this bucket from the fuel sender here and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna turn it on right now from here and we're gonna listen to it underneath here to see how it goes. We'll know if it stops pumping because it did it does it right away. So if there's no gas in there, it's gonna keep pumping. So I think we're pretty close to empty on this thing. I might have to put gas in it. So let's give it a few more seconds. I mean, it sounds okay. So let me so we put got some a quarter gas. of a tank in there. I mean, it sounds like it's pumping fine. I'll show you the bucket here, put that in my face because no one wants to look at that.
There you go. You hear the difference now? So it slowed down and the gas actually came through and uh, probably filled up that area where the fuel is supposed to be. So, boom, there you go. Now it's pumping gas. Um, and then when I stop pumping, it's supposed to stop or slow down. And that's why it has a timer. Because it's just gonna keep pumping if not. So, it's working. And we'll let the timer shut off there. I only put it off for one minute, but it has five minutes. Right now, it would have already stopped because of the grinding. And you can't hear the grinding. I mean, it's a pump, so it makes a bunch of noise. And there it is, it turned off. So, at this point, I'm gonna say that uh, grinding those things down worked. And if you liked my video, go ahead and uh, hit the thumbs up down below and uh, like the video and if you have any questions or comments or if you hated this stupid video <laughs> I don't really care but you can go ahead and comment below if you have any questions put it below I mean uh, I don't know what other questions you can ask but if you have anything let me know and I'll try to help you out thanks for watching